Hello everyone. Let's start with an exercise. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Now picture someone cooking your favorite meal in the house. A person tidying up after you or someone putting your laundry away. Now how many of you imagined a woman doing this role? Now hold that thought. Since time immemorial it has been observed that for a happy family there are two primary roles to provide and to nurture now centuries ago men started providing and women started nurturing men were the kings of the outside world and women were the queens of the house equally empowered isn't it however as time passed by people blindly followed and typecasted these roles as gender roles men and women also molded themselves and started working accordingly so much so that women forgot that they were equals they started treating men over and above themselves and more important to themselves this this way men stopped doing everything that they were required to do as the man of the house other than provide It was not a happy situation when the time cascaded it in a manner that women no longer felt safe whether inside the house or outside. Let me tell you a story of two women. There's Sita and there's Geeta. Well, Sita was born in Mumbai and she had equal privileges like all her siblings. She graduated in her days, which was a commendable achievement. She was also very well trained to run a house. She got married to a highly educated guy in Mumbai. Geeta was born in a rural village of India, a remote village of India where she could not study beyond 10th grade because for that she had to travel beyond limits of the village which was not permitted. She was beautifully trained to run the house. She also got married to an equally educated guy in Mumbai who was settled in Dubai. Geeta's husband was a part he was one of the nine siblings. Your the sisters were all educated and working and pursuing their careers Geeta thought she would be equally treated with them she thought her life was about to change for better she however for her the life was different her husband left for dubai and she remained behind to take care of family there were strict rules in the family to draw gungat so far to um, not be able to sit in front of other men if they are in the room forget raising her voice she was once again confined to four walls of her house as time passed by sita too sita too the bombay girl definitely uh, sita was married to a large family here too the daughters were already pursuing their career and she had thought that she will also be able to do the same and rock it out rock at it well the rules for daughters and daughter in laws were different and she was home bound well it did not matter who was very highly educated it did not matter how the spouses were educated or doing in life the fates of sita and geeta were similar always kitchen bound always looking after the others always prioritizing the family these two strong resilient women decided this cannot continue for the rest of their generations it cannot continue for the women the daughters and daughter in laws and that's where everyone i became the luckiest girl in the world hi i'm purvi ashar i'm daughter of sita the mumbai girl i'm daughter in law of geeta the village girl my story is very different than theirs because these two women decided to make a difference for me then let's imagine any working woman of any strata whether you are a law partner of a law firm whether you are a ceo of an mnc or whether you are a sportswoman or even a vegetable vendor once you get home you're expected to go ahead and start with your home routine well we are all raised like that right and those expectations first come from our own heads so everyone everyone's story is the same when they reach back home and i grew up accordingly i will tell you i believe i grew up an empowered woman i can do it all i can manage my house my family as well as as well as my work 
and I thought I was empowered. Little did I know there is a difference between women empowered, women empowerment and women equality. They are two very different things. Growing up, I had seen the women of my house not being heard or being a part of the decision making process. So I always made my mother a part of my decision making process and I thought I was doing it all right. Fast forward to when I got married, I also took my mother-in-law's advice for everything and I had a bubble that I'm doing everything for the women in my life. Well, when my brother-in-law got married, my husband's brother, right? He started helping his wife in the house. You know who was the most uncomfortable person here? Me. Why? Because I was trained to think that men cannot do household chores. Men cannot help around in the house. It is only women's job. Me, who thought that I was doing everything all right, had a sudden wake-up call. I realized there is a huge difference in equality and empowerment, and that needs to change now. So I started taking steps towards equality. I started making things better in my house. But then eventually it hit the lockdown. How many parents were working from home in the lockdown? Whose life do you think got most impacted in the lockdown? Well, I'll tell you, mine got most impacted. I became the nurturer first. I first became a daughter, then a mother, then a daughter-in-law, and then a wife. And only if time permitted, I became a lawyer, right? So, and my husband remained a provider of ultimate nature. He could not be disturbed. Now, does that sound familiar to you all? I faced inequality. I thought, this is it. I need to rebel. And I rebel like a lot of other women did. Oh, if you don't do it, I'll not do it too. You pick up your dirty towel. I'm not expected to do that for you. If there are 12 potatoes to peel, you better peel six. I will peel the rest of the six. Now, that's equality, isn't it? Well, I was wrong there as well. What did that lead into? First of all, my mother-in-law had to start doing all the chores. Second, it led to a toxic home environment. It led into depressing atmosphere. It led into us ignoring our child. It was depressing to another level where you didn't feel like going home at all and rather be busy with work. Whenever somebody takes such an issue to their mothers and mother-in-laws, what do you think the standard answer is? We have faced this too. What choice do we women have? That's when I decided that I have a choice. I have a choice to make a difference from my household. I had a choice to make a difference using my profession. That's where I decided to a three-step system. One is to educate, the second is action, and once you take actions, it brings change into attitude. Now for education is obviously the first step for everything, right guys? So I started looking at the laws. I first started telling, educating people, the laws of our countries have changed from being completely main dominated laws to absolutely gender neutral. Now, for example, women have equal right in parents' estate. So with this knowledge in my hand, with this empower, I felt that I will, I will contribute in my client's life. I started telling every client of mine who came for property distribution that will cannot be a hush, hush situation. It is not a filmy situation that it opens one day and everybody goes, ha, huh, what happened? That's not how a will should be made. Property distribution should be a family exercise where you open, have, you have frank conversations, which leads to a fair distribution of wealth, which also leads to that underlying current of being unequal. It diminishes the underlying current, right? It leads to a more happier family. Another thing I started taking a look at was the corporate world. Corporate world also, women they face challenges of being unequal. Men and women are supposed to have equal pay. Equal pay also, and women over and above that had six months maternity leave. When MNCs follow maternity leave rules, 
the medium business owners they don't they don't even want to employ somebody who's newly married because why she would get pregnant and she would ask for maternity leave and they didn't want to pay for it well i started educating corporates to do the needful what is legally right you have to do what's legally right and every other thing will follow do you know guys our bcci finally after a long battle finally made an equal pay uh, finally made an equal pay for men and women cricketers well that's commendable when government are changing the laws our corporates our big institutions are changing the rules to make men and women equal why can't we do the same at our home as mr gandhi said as gandhi ji said be the change you want to see in the world so i started implementing small changes around me first i started treating myself equal to others in my family i treating i started treating everybody equally to me and they started treating me equal as well like for example i started treating husband equal to me now how many of you have heard of this saying what's my husband's is mine and what's mine is also mine well that also needs to change if you want to be equal you also need to contribute equally i started contributing equally even financially and that put me on the same level as my husband on the same pedestal it earned me a respect to a different level secondly i started doing taking baby steps like whoever wakes up first makes the tea first simple isn't it whoever's clothes come in they put it in their own closet well the rule was applied in my family and was started implemented now my son looks at us and thinks these are not gender roles and they are actually life skills what are life skills life skills are skills which every human being needs to survive in the world be it cooking and cleaning tending the house social relationships or even earning money everything is important well in our world mothers taught all the women the life skills and they empowered the women to an extent however they forgot to empower the guys as well men didn't realize everything is important and started depending on the women it's about time we change that we need to empower our sons as well i started teaching my son uh, i started teaching my son how to do things in my house so when now any one of us is unwell he gets up and he can make easy recipes and comfort food for us we also i also started teaching my son how to deal with empowered women and that made make makes him respect women more i want to raise my son to be in to be a kind of a man who honors women right don't you all want to it's about time we start doing as well we start doing that as well you should empower not just your daughters also your sons with this in mind i started helping a lot of women in my work i started creating getting them their legal rights i started making them enforce their legal rights i thought i was doing it really well but because i got really recognized in this in this field but at when they take their rights back home the home would turn into a battlefield that brings me to change in attitude attitude is something that comes only by practice so if you first learn then put into action if you put things into action enough it automatically automatically inculcates into an attitude at it small attitude changes like i did i'll tell you for example like i started doing bharatnatyam i started relearning bharatnatyam in my life i also stepped out of my comfort zone and started building a network of my own and that too without any guilt and i realized my family is adjusted to it similarly i pushed my mother in law to get her own get out of her comfort zone and leave the family behind to do her own path follow her own passion and we all adjusted to it as well well to the all the men over here we don't want to be uh, treated as royalty but we don't mind being pampered some day we don't want equality being 12 potatoes out of 12 potatoes you peel 6 and i will peel 6 we want to be companions we want to be hand in gloves and all we want is respect to all the women in the room well 
You are the queens of the house. Please remember that. Treat every member equally, your son and daughter, your daughter and daughter-in-law, your, your mother and mother-in-law. And you will see the change. You will see the change in attitude because men will follow the same. I'll tell you who's the real queen. A real queen is the one who fixes other queen's crown and not break it. Let's help women be treated as equals. Let's also get men be treated as equals. Equality is provided by the law. Let's simply follow the law and you will see the mindset changing and homes will become a better space and a safer space for women. And that will also result into world becoming a better space and safer space. Every journey begins with a small step. I have taken a small step. It's about time you do. Well, history so far has been his story. People, it's about time her story is heard too. Thank you very much.